Next up is Amira from Guelph with her facial recognition technology. Tonight she comes face to face with the dragons, Sixth Sense, La Rose, Steph Rocker Walker and Baby. Will this be Amira's big break or will this experience break her? Good afternoon dragons, my name is Amira and I'm from Guelph, Ontario and uh, my product is facial recognition technology. I'm here today to ask for $500,000 for which I'm prepared to offer up a negotiable amount of the rights to my company. As far as I know, partnership is a really good option for me because according to Form of Business Organization in 2012, I can split the cost of starting a business and someone else can handle the business end. Mira, do you even have a patent yet? As defined by MJ Delia in 2009, a patent is used to protect a unique product or process. Before you even think about partnering or selling, you should file for a patent. The Guide to Patents by the Canadian Intellectual Property Office in 2012 states that in order to obtain a patent, your project must have novelty, utility, and ingenuity. In Canada, you must initially determine whether or not you need a patent agent. Start by preparing and filing a patent application as well as completing a preliminary search. You must respond to the examiner according to his or her approval or rejection to your claims and allow the examiner to reconsider resulting in either approval of the patent or call for further amendments. Wait, I'm confused, Amira. Why don't you just keep working on your product and then when it gets to the point that you're confident with it, you just go into business yourself? What's the point in partnering? That's a good point. I did think of that, but I really know nothing about business. And even if my product is revolutionary, it, it'll fail if I don't have someone that's partnered with me. Amira, as you know, I work at Google Inc. and I think would be interested in investing in your technology, although I would require the whole business. I can give you, say, $500,000, uh, but I'll need all the rights for the technology. Selling all of it? How would that work? Basically, you'll just go and pitch your idea to a company like Google Inc. and then from there you'll decide whether or not to purchase it. I don't think that's a good idea. According to Bianchi Chiesi Frattini in 2011, only 4 out of 100 attempts to sell technology to a company actually go through. You know, Amira, it's fine if you want to sell out, but I'm willing to make a partnership with you. I will give you the $500,000 you want with, for 75% of their product. It's really easy. According to FinLaw website on starting a partnership, all we got to do is pick up the business name, register it, sign a partnership agreement, and get all the necessary business licenses from the government. Well, that is the money I want, but I don't know about 75%. Amira, before you do that, I think your product is interesting, and I can see that there's a lot of potential for government use, but I know that if you sell it to them, they're going to want all the rights. What do you think about that? I don't really know that much about selling to the government. How would that work exactly? You should still file for a patent. After researching through the Office of the Privacy Commissioner of Canada, you'll find that the government is really interested in using these biometrics for the new immigration policy. Throughout the Temporary Resident Biometric Project and Bill C-31, they will use this fingerprint data and facial recognition to kind of reduce identity theft and enhance safety when people are crossing the border. So when the immigrants do try and cross the border, this facial data will be recorded and kept within confidential records under the Privacy Act and PEPIDA. The project is still within the planning stage according to the Citizenship and Immigration Canada, but I definitely think that they'll be interested in working with you. Facial recognition is the top biometric technology after finger scans. A number of government agencies, such as the Department of Security, Transportation, uh, Defense, Customs and Border Protection, and Departments of Justice, have increased their use of biometrics during the past few years. Facial recognition is particularly important for uh, intelligence, national security, uh, immigration, and law enforcement, especially after 9-11. Uh, national security measures have been heightened. So, if you want to do this, according to the Public Works and Government Services Canada in 2012, the procurement process starts when the government wants to buy something. In this case, you would have an advantage of a non-competitive bid because your facial recognition software deals with issues of national security. Before you do that, though, you need to go on the Government of Canada website and register as a supplier uh, through the Supplier Registration Information System. 
Uh, the Canadian Business Network said that in 2012 that after you've done this, you can go on the Merck's database and find uh, bid opportunities there, or you can write up a proposal and submit it to the team leader for the security operations and development environment sector. There's lots of information on the government website about how you can promote yourself to the government and increase your chances that they'll buy your product. That actually sounds like a great idea. I'm definitely going to go file for a patent and then look into selling to the government. I like the fact that my technology will be able to help the government and I won't have to worry about the business side of it at all. Maybe now I'll have time to work on all the other projects I've been thinking about. I'm going to go home right now and register as a supplier and then start looking at all the opportunities listed on the government website. Thank you so much for your advice, Dragons.